15. We do have a quorum. Let's please stand and pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All individuals are asked to either silence or turn off cell phones, pages, or other electronic devices that may disrupt the meeting. Approval of the agenda. Approve the agenda as posted in accordance with the open meeting law. And here in place, all agenda items on the table for discussion. What is the wish of the council? Make them. Mr. President, I move to approve the agenda. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Lundberg, second by Alderman Hercock to approve the agenda. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries approval of the minutes. Special work session meeting of March 19, 2018 and the regular meeting of March 19, 2018 are enclosed. What's the wish of the council? I'll make a motion. Second. I got a motion by council member Liljegren, and second by council member Hansen to approve the minutes. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries approval of the bills. Checks number 98201 through 98282, totaling $385,957.02. What's the wish of the council? Move to approve. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Canofla, second by Council Member Lundberg to approve the bills. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Awards, donations, presentations, proclamations, awards, certificate of accommodation, wastewater treatment facility, Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, exemplary effort in 2017. Greg? Yes, this evening on your agenda you have two awards, one for the wastewater treatment facility and one for the water, water treatment facility. Um, I'd like to uh, basically commend the gentlemen at uh, both the water plant and the wastewater plant for their uh, service this past year. Both have been uh, very uh, proficient in what they do. So at the wastewater plant, I'd like to thank Lee Bundy, Matt Street, Ken Wimmer, and Brian Zabzelka for uh, doing a great job down there so that we can get the uh, accommodation from the MPCA. And then at the water plant, um, which is the next item on your agenda here, we've got the Minnesota Rural Water Association, Best Tasting Water. We uh, won that again this year. Last time we won it was in 2012. This year is 2018, we won that. Um, so I'd like to thank Dwayne Heinen, Ron Zablocki, and Mitch LeBlanc for doing a great job over at the water plant. Mr. President, yep, Mayor. Uh, we have an award here for the best tasting water, and I think uh, I wish somebody was here uh, to accept it because I think this uh, would make a nice picture in the record yep. uh, because uh, this is quite the award to win, and we met with the lady that wrote an article on yep. this, and uh, we'll be going after the best water in the nation, which Correct. I think is exciting, and the comments that they had about our water. And you hear so many great things about the water. In Little Falls, we don't realize, I think, how fortunate we are to have that water because if you go north and south to certain places, uh, not so much. And uh, so I think we're very fortunate. So I, uh, Can you get somebody from the water plant and get a hold of the record and have them take it like, it's like tomorrow or whatever so it can get in the paper? Yes, yes, we can. I agree. Yeah. I, we need to have publicize that. Yeah. Even if you had the copy of that picture. I was thinking of the one that we took out there. We can forward that to the record to include in there. Yep. Uh, the record and see if they would put something in. I think that's quite the award. We should be real proud of that. I agree. Thank you. <clears throat> do we need? We don't need no action on them, correct? Or do we need? You no. Don't have to. Okay. Proclamations. National Service Recognition Day, April 3rd. Mr. Mayor. Okay, annually uh, we do the recognition on this. It's Mayor's Day of Recognition for National Service <coughs> Proclamation, and I'd like to read it, and I'm sure it's because of the weather that we don't have many people here to uh, accept their commendation. Um, 
Whereas service to others is a hallmark of the American character and central to how we meet our challenges and whereas the nation's mayors and city councils are increasingly turning to national service and volunteerism as a cost effective strategy to meet city needs and whereas AmeriCorps and Senior Corps participants address most pressing challenges facing our cities and counties from educating students for the jobs of the 21st century and supporting veterans and military families to providing health services and helping communities recover from natural disasters and whereas AmeriCorps and Senior Corps participants serve in more than 50,000 locations across the country bolstering the civic neighborhood and faith-based organizations that are so vital to our economic and social well-being and whereas in 2017 nine volunteers from our community served 6,843 hours assisting children in the Little Falls School District, working one-on-one -on -one with students needing extra help in reading, spelling, and math skills. Those volunteers are Mary Blake, John Blome, Rita Britz Tennis, Helen Funk, Edna Gallis, Sister Bernita Lindstrom, Sister Carol Mecco, Judy Palaszczuk, and Annie Sharon, and whereas national service participants increase the impact of the organizations they serve with, both through their direct service and by recruiting and managing millions of additional volunteers, and whereas national service represents a unique public-private partnership that invests in community solutions and leverages non-federal resources to strengthen community impact and increase the return of taxpayer dollars, and whereas national service participants demonstrate commitment, dedication, and patriotism by making an intensive commitment that remains with them in their future endeavors, and whereas the Corporation for National and Community Service shares a priority with mayors nationwide to engage citizens, improve lives, and strengthen communities, and is joining with the National League of Cities, City of Service, and mayors across the country to recognize the impact of service on the Mayor's Day of Recognition for national service on April 3rd, 2018. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Gregory J. Zelka, Mayor of Little Falls, do hereby proclaim April 3rd, 2018 as National Recognition of Service Day <coughs> and encourage residents to recognize the positive impact of national service in our city to thank those who serve and find ways to give back to their communities. Uh, so thank you. Um, are you here for... Yes. Okay. Okay, Helen. Um, I have uh, one just specially here for you, and I'd like to present that to you. And I think we should give her a nice round of applause for everything. Consent agenda, Airport Commission minutes, March 2018 received. Application for exempt permit, Friends of Linden Hill raffle approved. Application for exempt permit and temporary on sale malt beverage license, Our Lady of Lords Church Bazaar approved. Building department report, February 2018 received. Display of fireworks application, Pyrotechnics Display Inc. Dam Festival approved. Fire Department report, February 2018 received. Heritage Preservation Commission minutes, March 2018 received. Park Rick and Tree Board minutes, March 2018 received. Sale of fireworks, temporary structure, TNT fireworks, slash Walmart approved. Wastewater Treatment Facility report, February 2018 received. What is the wish of the council on the consent? I make a motion to accept and approve. Second. Got a motion by Mayor Zoka, second by Alderman Hercock for approval of the consent. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Public hearings and lightings. Under lightings, we got resolution 2018 20. 
award bid, public improvement 378. Greg? Yeah, as you can see on the agenda here, we've been busy in the engineering department. Uh, the first one on the uh, agenda is the public uh, improvement 378. We opened bids on March 21st. They came in at $1,499,598.49 from Tri-City out of Little Falls. So we are recommending uh, approving that, uh, that contract so we can get started this, this summer. What is the wish of the council on resolution 2018-20? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Got a motion by Council Member Hansen, second by Council Member Liljegren for approval of resolution 2018 20. Any discussion? I, I just, Mr. President, yep. if I can, it, Greg, is there somewhere in here where I know with the last project there was a concern about the soil that was put back? Is there any way? I mean, I, I, I'd be okay with a verbal if we're yes, making so a priority to make sure that's done right. I don't want Jerry to have a myocardial infarction. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so we did spec out different topsoil uh, this year. Thank you. Um, we will see if it gets much better. Um, knowing it's Little Falls, it's going to be sandy just because of the area. But, yes, we did spec out better topsoil this Excellent. year. Excellent. Yep. Any other discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call a roll, please. Hercock? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Anfler? Yes. Wildegrin? Yes. Canofla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Carries. Fox Hill Project 2018, Asphalt Preservation Company. Greg? Yep, uh, we opened bids for our uh, fog ceiling. Uh, the low bid came from Asphalt Preservation Company out of Detroit Lakes in the amount of $54,187.25. <coughs> We're recommending approval tonight. It's the wish of the council. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Got a motion by Councilmember Lodrigan, second by Councilmember Canofla for approval. Any discussion? I just have a question. I noticed when I looked on your map, it says Mississippi Boulevard. Yes. But it doesn't go all the way down Mississippi, Mississippi Correct. Boulevard? Correct. That's that section of road that we didn't replace <laughs> on DeRosier? Yes. To that, is there any plans to seal the cracks that are getting worse every year? Um, we haven't, and we not at this point. I mean, we definitely can, but knowing that at some point in time the utilities will go underneath that stretch, so we're going to have to rip it up anyways. Um, I don't have a crystal ball that says when that's going to be, if it's going to be one year, if it's going to be five years. Um, we but just I'm voted no last year, so I would guess it's going to be a significant amount of time. If you look where the cracks go all the across the road, it just keeps washing sand out. Okay. So they're getting to be bigger and bigger drops in those sections. Okay. We're we can we can definitely look to to seal those, but past practice has been if we haven't done the utilities underneath it, we usually don't do much for surface improvements simply because uh, we're putting money onto a pavement that we're going to be ripping up in at some point in time here. Is there any indication that that timeline is at all possible? I mean, is you getting word that right i mean it's part of the smith properties that are in a trust and i mean they're they're going to want to sell before anything happens there right the smith property on the corner that's off of derosier that is currently being rented so it's it's being used by uh, by somebody at this point in time so I, I haven't had any word that they're looking at selling or developing that that parcel so Okay, I, I just, I understand Brad's concern here. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Micro surfacing project 2018, Aztec Corp. Again, this is for the 2018 microsurfacing project. Uh, in the past, we've been doing slurry seal. This is a slightly different product. Um, they use a polymer to allow it to cure faster, so it doesn't take as long to, to cure, but essentially it's the same product that we were doing with the, the slurry seal um, for about the same cost, so it made sense to go this route. Uh, the low bid came from Aztec Corporation out of St. Cloud in the amount of $198,381.37. Tonight, we're recommending approval for that as well. What is the wish of the council? So moved. Second. Got a motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Council Member Lundberg for approval. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. 
Portable generator, wastewater treatment facility, Greg? Yeah, this is one that uh, I definitely want to get taken care of and probably get a couple more uh, as the years go on. Right now we have 19 lift stations. Uh, two of those lift stations are our main lift stations which have uh, on-site generators on them. The other 17 share a, a, a generator with the waste or with the water treatment facility. So if power does go out, we have to haul that generator to the various ones throughout town. Um, as you can imagine, 17 spots around town is, is going to be a challenge if we lose power. So tonight we are recommending that we uh, purchase a 30 kilowatt portable generator from Total Energy Systems out of Eden Prairie in the amount of $30,839 to be charged to the wastewater improvement fund. Which switch to the council? I move to award. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Lundberg, second by Mayor Zilka for approval. Any discussion? Mr. President, I see uh, this is going through NJPA. Correct. And 30% member discount, and I see there's a breakdown on here on some of the things we're saving. Mm -hmm. So that's what we get. 30% discount for being an NGPA member? It, it varies from uh, agency to agency. With this particular brand, yes, it's 30%. Wow. That's and uh, that costs us how much to be a member? Not <laughs> 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 It's a no brainer. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. <laughs> Depends how you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Old business, amend motion from February 20th, 2018. Blower, motor, streets and parks, Midwest machinery. Yeah, so after the council approved purchasing of the new mower, we uh, approached John Deere to see if they would give us a trade-in value for our current uh, 2002 John Deere mower that we have. Um, they gave us a price of $4,500 for uh, trade-in value. We are looking to um, amend the motion from February 20th so that we can trade in the mower. So the, cur the corrected value would be $36,472. As opposed to? 40972 What's the wish to the council? We'll make a motion to amend our previous motion and approve it with the trade-in. Second it. Got a motion by Alderman Hercock, second by Councilmember Knopfla for approval. Discussion? We can't use a $4,500 more anywhere else? So we'll be buying a $50,000 one for next month? No, I, it's, I wouldn't. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Accept the airport commission recommendation, task order number four. <laughs> Gatimaras, Lee, and Jackson, reconstruct runway 18-36. This Step is approved, Greg. Yep. This is the design uh, service agreement with Catamaran Lee and Jackson to d do the design work on our crosswind runway. We've been talking about that for a while here now, um, so we're getting close to uh, actually seeing that as a reality. The uh, contract or the amount for engineering services come in at one hundred ninety thousand six hundred seventy-six dollars and eighty-one cents. There is a ninety-five-five split, uh, so ninety percent fed, five percent state, and the five percent share between the city and the county uh, with this contract amount. Um, those federal funds uh, do come from the gas tax with aviation fuel, um, so it's kind of a, a no-brainer to move forward with this and, and get closer to being able to construct that crosswind runway. What is the wish of the council? Second. Got a motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Councilmember Lundberg for approval. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. same sign. Motion carries. Letter of Agreement, Value Engineering Services, AES, AE2S, Water Treatment Facility Project. Right. Yeah, we, we talked about this a little bit at the, the work session. Uh, we are looking at uh, entering into an agreement with AE2S to do value engineering on our wastewater treatment facility. If you recall at our last uh, council meeting, we approved the uh, PFA application, the loan application uh, for right around that $20 million mark for our wastewater treatment facility. Uh, we're looking at aggressively reducing those costs uh, to try to make it as affordable to the city of Little Falls as possible, and this is the first step in, in doing that. So tonight we are recommending approval uh, 
to to contract with AE2S for value engineering services. Uh, you can kind of think of it as a second opinion on uh, the treatment facility to see if there's any places that we can potentially uh, save some, some costs. What's the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Got a motion by Council Member Knopfler, second by Mayor Zilka for approval. Any discussion? That was Hanson. That was Hanson. Hanson, sorry. <laughs> Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Resolution 2018-21, supporting local decision making authority. Mayor, you have something on this one? Um, yes, and I know John can speak to it also. I do. Uh, do we all get a copy of the, uh, from the League of Minnesota Cities? I counted over 40 bills that are actually in the House file and Senate file uh, total, and I don't know. I read through most of them, but um, I'll take the word of uh, uh, the League of Minnesota Cities that are actually uh, in discussion about taking away local authority. And uh, John can speak specifically, John, if you would. I know we've discussed a couple of them that they had done in the past that would affect us greatly. Yeah, so specifically last session, we, we even did one of these resolutions before and it was pretty effective in, in preventing the reverse referendum um, for our property taxes. So when we set the tax levy, uh, they were, they were the state legislature was going to approve a bill that 10% of the petitioners could make that a referendum. 10% um, uh, of the voting registered voters from the previous election could make that a referendum to the public to, whereas 51% of the vote could overturn our, our, our levy. So if we, had an, if, we, if we had any increase at all, it wasn't the threshold increase, it was any increase. So, I mean, it's not, if that, if that did take effect, that would really mess up our budgeting and our, you know, our ability to handle our finances um, in the future. And you know, we don't, we shouldn't expect this. The states making their decisions with their elected officials, the counties making their decisions. This wasn't going to impact the counties. Um, it was strictly to the to the cities to that they were targeting. So. It's, you know, we're, you're elected as officials to, you know, make decisions for the, for the community. Um, we do a pretty, com you know, extensive budgeting process. We had numerous meetings last, last year to, to talk about where we want the levy to be. I would comment that our levy actually tax rate went down 1%. Just got my tax statement last week. So it went down 1%. So um, why the state needs to get into the inf in that business, that's, that's just one prime example. Well, um, and the other one is the one that uh, there was just a letter in the record, uh, was it last week or the week before, regarding um, reducing our LGA by any local option sales tax, yeah. which goes to the voters. Um, the local option sales tax, so they voted in and then yeah. they're proposing taking away those dollars away from our LGA, which our LGA, I don't even know if it's back to the levels. Yeah, that, 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 that representative actually yeah, has, has proposed a bill that would, if you have a local option sales tax, that would cut your LGA. Um, you know, and those are two separate taxes. <laughs> one's a property tax and one's a sales tax. And, you know, that's, it, those, so they're coming from two different resources. One's from the, you know, the pr values of the properties in your, within your community and the other is from people that are buying goods uh, in your community. Um, and not all of those people are residents of your community. So it's um, one of the ways that you can generate funds from people outside your community that use these things this in your community. coming up with the, with the state. That it, it, <laughs> and, and I'd like to point out the hypocrisy, I, you know, because I'm all for this, the first one with the reverse referendum. I mean, we're in a state that doesn't have a, a proposition mechanism, yet they want to impose it upon the city. And Representative Drazkowski is from a rural community that receives LGA. Right, and he keeps mm -hmm. doing this. It, and that it, that is the one, and he had a guest column in the in the record a couple weeks ago um, that that was said to what you were saying about LGA, um, that they gave us, he, he's claim, his claim is they gave us an increase in LGA and we raised tax as well, not in Little Falls. We didn't, uh, we didn't raise the tax rate 
if your taxes went up, it's because your valuation went up. Um, and we don't, we, granted, Greg, Jeremy, and I sit on the Board of Equalization, so we have some authority to, to make some decisions in, in changing valuations, but those are only based on petitions, and the county property assessor set the valuations. So, so we're, you know, it's, it's, it's really kind of missing the message that, that saying, yeah, you, we gave you more LGA and you didn't lower property taxes. Well, we actually did. So, um, I, I, I mean, that's, that's really insulting <laughs> to our community and you, I, I believe to you as decision makers that are, that are making that, that authority. So and I think we all need to lobby our representatives and tell them, listen, uh, we get elected to do our jobs. You get elected to do your job. Let us do ours and we'll let you do yours. Yeah. So it's only a fair statement to me. Any other discussion on that one? So what is the wish of the council on resolution 2018-21? We move to adopt it. Second. I got a motion by council member Lundberg, second by Alderman Hercock for approval. Any discussion? I'd Here. like to see it uh, in our local newspaper, how we as a uh, council feel uh, about our passion for doing our job for our community. Any other discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call a roll, please. Gushik? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Hanfler? Yes. Liljegren? Yes. Tanofla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Sirkoff? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2018-22, intent to sell bonds, public improvement 378. Laurie? Um, yes, tonight the city council adopted a resolution that ordered in the or awarded the bid for the 2018 petition projects. So, having done that, the IRS now requires that we pass a resolution of intent to sell bonds so that when the street projects are done and we go ahead and issue bonds later this year or the early part of next year, um, that the Internal Revenue Service has noticed that we intend to do so. What's the wish of the council on resolution 2018-22? We'll make a motion. Second. Got a motion by council member Lodgeran, second by council member Kanafla for approval. Any discussion? Hearing none, resolution, call a roll, please. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Ampler? Yes. Lodgeran? Yes. Kanafla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Surkoff? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2018-23, amend water rates, metered irrigation. Sorry. <clears throat> So um, the Department of Natural Resources requires municipalities to um, institute water conservation efforts. And um, so in our discussion in, within the office, we talked about um, meters that we have for just sprinkler systems. And currently, some of our meters are, are sprinkler meters or irrigation meters are built annually. Some are built monthly. Um, and it's kind of hard just to keep track of what's getting billed when. And so in an effort to kind of streamline things and to follow the water conservation um, uh, uh, items that the Department of Natural Resources would like us to do. Um, we propose that we would bill all of our sprinkler systems on a monthly basis, and then we would have one flat fee for irrigation meters. So um, residential business users, we have a tiered rate system for those, and the more water you use, the more you're paying for your water. With, the, uh, with this on the irrigation meters, it would just be one dollar amount per thousand gallons. There would be no tiered um, billing structure rate and we're billing them at the higher rate therefore encourage them to conserve water what's the wish of the council make I'll a make a motion to adopt second got a motion by council member Hansen second by Alderman Hercock for approval any discussion uh, just a question, Mr. Yep. President. Uh, how many of these exist? I'm just curious. Um, I'm going to guess probably 50, 60 of them. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is there a minimum in like in the winter time when they're not using irrigation? Is there a minimum that they will be charged? No. Then they they get shut off. Yeah. Okay. 
Does it country in when I blow theirs out? We shut that off so there's no. Right, right, yeah. So they get, once they're done using them and, and they notify okay. us, then we shut them off. Well, so they have a separate meter just for. Just lash. for irrigation. Right, so they don't for pay sewer on it that yeah, way. So they, yes, yeah, in order to save the sewer. <laughs> also sewer costs. All right, <coughs> Mr. President, I'd also like to point out here we have another example of the state dictating something we do. <laughs> <laughs> Any other discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, resolution, call a roll, please. Zilka? Yes. Anthor? Yes. Wildegren? Yes. Panopla? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Percock? Yes. Gushik? No. Lundberg? Yes. Carries. <laughs> Any reports? Announcements? Just, okay, just briefly, um, today is my last day of real work at Coburn, so I <laughs> um, had a little party about a week ago. I want to thank everyone for their support that showed it. I know some people couldn't make it uh, because of extenuating circumstances, but uh, greatly appreciated, and I'm looking, uh, like John says, I didn't retire from mayor, so I'm Looking forward to spend more time at uh, this job and not getting in anybody's way. <laughs> That's my, all. my children were all home for Easter, so Saturday morning we went up for a roll and a cup of caribou coffee, and I had two residents approach me and thank me for how quickly their streets were plowed out on Saturday morning. They knew we'd been hearing negative, and they were happy and wanted us to hear positive. I have one, Council President. Yep. Um, if you didn't know, I was off last week because on uh, March 25th, uh, my daughter was born, Marie Christine. Uh, seven pounds, 10 ounces, 20 inches long. Mommy and baby are doing great. Um, it's uh, It's been a real joy to, to get to spend time with her, so that's not them. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is her. So she's... Yeah, pretty precious, so I was thankful that I had that, that chance, the uh, opportunity to, to take that time and, and spend with them, so. Congratulations. We have the early program again. Yes, <laughs> she, will, she will be on the golf course. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? Hearing none, we will adjourn. Thank you. Mr. Kimmon.